Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming up that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks, as well as our merch store. Today, we are going to be doing a sizing guide. This time, it will be on a Crocs silhouette. For those of you who have looked at or have been interested in copying a pair of the Salehi Bembury uh, Crocs, and these are the Pollux clogs, you'll definitely want to stick around to hear about the sizing for this just because I wish I had known or had seen a sizing guide prior because I did order the wrong size. Uh, so definitely stick around for that. But we have three different colorways. So I'm going to go through, talk about the size ranges that I do have in front of me and talk about the size variations. So as far as the sizing goes for the Pollux clog, these only run in full size ranges. Meaning so if you are a half size like like myself, I'm a seven and a half, you will not be able to cop a seven and a half and you'll have to either go down or you'll have to size up. Fortunately, they don't make half sizes. So sorry for you half sizers out there like myself. We have to pick and choose which way to go up or down. So I actually decided to go a size up uh, when I first ordered these. So definitely was a little disappointed because again, for those of you who've tried to go for the Pollux clogs, these are so hard to get. So you're definitely going to want to know the measurements of these before you try and attempt to get these just because they sell out so fast. But I went a half size up. So I went with a size eight in the cobbler colorway. And I was very disappointed because I didn't fit them perfectly. And because of that, so I'm used to just a normal croc silhouette that has the back opening so you can wear it with the strap up unfortunately with the backing on these i was worried that i was going to actually size down and it'd be too small so i was going to be stuck with a croc that just didn't fit and i wasn't able to manipulate this with the strap and also as you can kind of see the strap doesn't exactly go all the way to the back of the heel here it actually ends up a little bit closer in front of that so you are kind of losing a little bit of that space behind here. So in calculating that in the images, I thought, hmm, makes sense to actually go half a size up, but it definitely is much larger than expected. So even with the strap down, I still feel like my foot is sliding in and out of this just because there's so much extra room in the clog itself. So I would recommend going half a size down. So I did get a size seven. So as you can see, it is a pretty pretty major difference here. So you can see how much larger that size gap is. Uh, and as far as just the regular, you know, croc goes, I feel like these do run on the larger side. So I do feel like this fits me to a T. I don't have like a lot of extra space or room in these, but definitely as far as like whether or not I want to have extra room, this was just too much room going up half a size. So I would recommend sizing down if you again are in that size range as myself, which is that half size range of a seven and a half or whatever your size may be. These do run on the larger side. Again, the strap even, you know, doesn't even make a difference. I feel like this is very flexible as well. So if you do need that extra backing, it will bend and go a little bit farther back if that is something that you may need. All right, so I hope that the sizing guide helps Helps any of you hoping to cop a pair of this Leahy Bembry clocks. I know that there are a lot of colorways that are set to release in the future. So hopefully you'll all cop W's and be able to own a pair of these. I know it took me some time to actually do a full unboxing on this just because they were so hard to get, but here you have it. I hope the sizing guide helps you. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out. That I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode.